climate change is changing hopes and livelihoods dramatically. Africa's growth is being compromised by climate change. The COVID-19 pandemic has reminded us that we cannot afford to ignore known risks. And climate disruption is a risk we are well aware of. The science has never been clearer. We are facing a climate emergency. Thousands of scientists across the globe for over 100 countries, Nobel laureates, were joining the Secretary General uh, Ban Ki-moon of the United Nations by calling upon world leaders to rise from the ashes of the COVID crisis and put climate adaptation at the center of the recovery. On this vital issue, we need all hands on deck. We are all aware there is no time to lose. Today, climate change is wreaking havoc on economies, lives and livelihoods in Africa. And the COVID-19 pandemic has complicated financing for climate adaptation. The devastating effects of climate change are on the rise, especially on the African continent. Today, the COVID-19 crisis is eroding our hard-earned development gains, as well as adding fuel to the continent's existing climate crisis. From the north to the south, humanity has been galvanized into action. If we are to build a common and inclusive future in the aftermath of COVID-19, it is this solidarity that must endure. No country, and I repeat again, no country can manage a crisis of this magnitude on its own. We have had to work collectively in order to build back better. Galvanizing climate resilient actions by addressing COVID-19, climate change and the economy through a triple win approach. That is why, together, the African Development Bank and the Global Center on Adaptation have implemented a bold Africa Adaptation Acceleration Program. The Africa Adaptation Acceleration Program will deliver climate adaptation for Africa at scale. The program should be robustly supported. Now, to achieve more, developed countries, of course, must now meet their promises to provide $100 billion per year for climate finance for developing countries. We must turn the pandemic into an opportunity to rebuild a more efficient and effective multilateral system. Climate change represents a fundamental development challenge for Africa. Ten of the top 12 countries most at risk to droughts are in Africa. The continent's development, whether in infrastructure, agriculture, urban development and youth empowerment, must prioritize a resilience approach that has both nature and people at its center. The restructuring of the global financing architecture to enable access to fresh capital by developing nations, now more than ever, is of immediate necessity. We must commit to taking concrete action to make the eradication of poverty and the reduction of inequalities irreversible, to promote social inclusion and the environment in a holistic fashion. The African Development Bank has quadrupled its financing for climate change, committing $25 billion between 2020 and 2025. We need to start building a better future now. All of us, global leaders, have a political and moral responsibility to save humanity and our planet. Together we adapt, together we prosper.